the Orion browser. It's a browser for macOS and you shouldn't install it. The instructions are right here on their website. Do not, is what I would say if it was true. But I went to tools, edit text on page, and here we are. Just wanted to show off this feature. Any browser can do this, by the way, not just Orion. But in this video, I wanted to investigate what you can do with Orion that you can't do with other browsers like Chrome or Safari, as well as other cool stuff that's under the hood. Well, mostly the cool stuff. We'll go through the list of features top to bottom that I definitely didn't steal from their starting guide. And by the end, we'll find out if it's better than Chrome. First off, the interface. It looks pretty much identical to Safari. The only thing I chose was this compact size, which makes it compact. You have all your usual things here on the bottom, like favorites. Clearly, I have no favorites. Or you can choose to add a background. But of course, we like to keep it minimalistic. When you open up a new tab, by the way, you can do that on any browser with command T. you have a bunch of tabs. And if there's too many, you can scroll through them with two fingers. Now, I recently used the Arc browser, which has vertical tabs, and I got used to this. So I'm going to go into settings by hitting command comma. On macOS, you can access settings of any app with command comma, and I'll go to appearance and choose on the side, which will neatly organize all of my 24 tabs on the side. I can also quickly close tabs with command W. Oh, and if there are no tabs remaining, the browser as well. I've also customized the top bar here. So you can hold command and then drag any of these icons here and they should just disappear with a nice poof animation. Poof. Well, never mind. Only Safari has that animation. Now, if I want to bring it back, I can right click and choose customize toolbar. And there are a bunch of things here that I can pick up and drag into the menu bar. This is how I've set up my menu bar. Here I have website settings. These are the extensions or the overflow menu. Here's a button to add something to favorites, the downloads and add a new tab button that I rarely use because I use keyboard shortcuts. Now, the first cool thing is that I can hit command shift F and it will turn my browser into a focus mode. Well, now it's just a gray blob because I'm not on the website. But if I go to youtube.com, for example, you'll see that at the top, there's no longer a menu bar and I can no longer see the tabs. So you can basically focus on what you're working on right now. To go back, hit command shift F again, and it brings out all the tabs. But apart from these little tricks that we'll talk more about later, how is this browser different from any other browser like Chrome or Firefox? Well, the first thing I want to show you is this red post by a user deleted and he basically did a test Chrome versus Arc versus Safari versus Orion versus Firefox. So basically the most popular browsers on Mac. And these are the results. Safari uses the least resources. Orion is close second, then Firefox, then Arc, and this is Chrome. Safari is eight times more power efficient. So if you care about battery life, you know, Safari is a good option. But the problem with Safari is that it doesn't have Chrome extensions. And I use a a lot of Chrome extensions. And that's the main selling point of the Orion browser. It's essentially Safari, but with Chrome extensions. It's built with the same infrastructure as Safari, which means it's very battery efficient and works well with macOS, but also brings some benefits from Chromium browsers, which is the benefit of extensions. It also has Firefox extensions. To install third-party extensions, you're going to have to go into settings, command comma, and then under advanced, click allow installation of third-party Chrome extensions and Firefox extensions. Then you can go to manage extensions. Then you can click add extension and choose a store, either the Firefox store or the Chrome Web Store to install it from. So I'll choose Chrome Web Store and here I can search for any extension that I want. Now, not every single extension works. For example, Grammarly doesn't really work. So if you find grammar mistakes in my video description, just know it's Orion's fault. Another way to add extensions is to go to tools, extensions, and popular extensions. These are the extensions that should theoretically work with Orion. As you can see, Grammarly is in here, so it's a lie. Now, speaking of battery, it should be pretty good at conserving it, but if you're running very low, you can go to tools and click low power mode, which will turn on low power mode on Orion, which means that new tabs will hibernate after five minutes of inactivity. Pinned tabs do not hibernate. So it will basically close any tabs in the background, leaving only the one that you're currently working on. Now, just like many other browsers, this one has tab groups and they're over here. If I click the plus icon and name this window something important, 
and have, let's say, a few websites open, I can right click on one of them, go to move tab and move them to either of my tab groups. This is basically an easy way to separate your workspaces. Now, apart from tab groups, it also has profiles, which now puts me in a difficult position because I have to confess that I lied to you before about my top bar, because this is my clean Orion version, which I just created for this video. But the real one that I use is over here. And you can see that I have a bunch of tab groups and the top bar looks slightly different because I also have notes here. To go to your notes, you can click Command Shift I. Psych. I mean, to go to your notes, you can click Command Shift L. Hello? Notes? Oh, Control Command I. To find your notes, you can press Control Command I, which will take you to a new tab with your notes. You can double click in here and you'll be able to start editing your notes. Once you've finished noting, you can click Command Enter and it will save. Now, even if I close the notes tab and then reopen it again with Control Command I, my beautiful note will still be here, which means that you can quickly jot something down instead of having to open text edit every single time. Oh yes, if you're on a website that you use frequently, you can go into tools and click install this site as an app. Here you'll be able to name the app and under options you'll be able to choose the profile that you want to use for this app and also if you want a desktop or a mobile view. Also you can customize the icon and create. Now I can drag this web app into my dock and even if I quit Orion I will be able to click on the YouTube app and it will open in a separate window and act just like an app. So you can do this with websites like Netflix, YouTube, Facebook or anything you use use frequently. And the reason my YouTube looks clean AF is because I have a Chrome extension that I installed through Orion called Unhook, and it can basically hide elements on YouTube for severe addicts like me. Now let's go back to profiles. To create a new one, go to file and choose profiles. Here you'll be able to create a new profile. And the cool thing about this is that when you create a new profile, it essentially creates like a separate app for your profile. So right now I have two Orion browsers open. The main one that I showed you before and this one, the clean version. And if I quit the clean version with command Q and say quit, it will only quit the clean version and leave the normal version running. So that's pretty cool. You can have one profile for entertainment and the other one for more entertainment. And you can use tab groups to switch between things within your profile. So for me, I have the procrastination profile, which probably shouldn't be here. But as soon as I go into YouTube and start binge watching it, I'll just throw all the YouTube apps into the procrastination folder, which will free up all the other ones until the next procrastination cycle. This one is learn something new. I try to learn something new for at least 10 minutes a day. So this is what this profile is for. You can also see here that these tabs are grayed out, which means they're hibernated. In the background, Orion decided that I don't use them and so they don't need to consume my resources and that's why it closed them, but they're still here because I can reopen them. The only annoying thing is that they're all youtube.com, so I can't really see the title of the video. Anyway, if you go into any website, you'll be able to click this gear icon, which has website settings. Here you can choose a bunch of settings, but the one that I always set is never autoplay. Here inside of autoplay, stop media, with sound. So now when I open YouTube videos in a new tab, they will not immediately start autoplaying. If I go into any of these, you'll see that I have to click once more in order for it to start playing. So that's very useful. So all of these features are pretty nice and cool, except that it's pretty buggy. I found that there are some weird bugs and the extensions don't work as well as on Google Chrome. As I've mentioned before, Grammarly doesn't work. And some other extensions are a little slower. But if you don't care about that, then it's not a problem. Then there are also some weird bugs where it just crashes or something weird happens with the tabs and you can't open any more of them. It just freezes. I also had some web pages freeze and then the other ones kept working just as fine. But I think all of these issues are temporary and especially the bugs, they're going to get fixed in the future. So the Orion browser is essentially a little worse Safari in terms of the bugs and a little bit worse Google Chrome in terms of the extension compatibility, but it brings these two things together into a very nice package, making it the browser that has the pros of Safari, like being fast and conserving battery life, and the pros of Google Chrome, which is extensions. So that's the Orion browser. Oh, and there's just one more thing that I forgot to mention. Psych. 